Hello YouTube! This is Ace Group Master, and we're back with more Fire Emblem New Mystery of the Emblem. And today we're doing Chapter 3, Abducted Princess. Once upon a time, the region of Macedon was a territory under Dolrian rule. A century ago, the dragon kin rulers sent many slaves to these wild forests to excavate ruins and build a country. Many slaves were forced to work to their limits barely fed and then slaughtered. A young man stood up against such tragic conditions. Iota was his name. He and his companions fled to the forests and fought astride wyverns to free the slaves. After Dolor's demise, the slaves established their own country in these now abundant lands and the hero Iota was chosen as their first king. And so was born the Kingdom of Macedon, later feared as the Domain of Draconites. However, the mighty Macedon was stripped of Prince Michaelis, said to be the second coming of Iota, and is now on the brink of losing Princess Minerva, the so-called Red Dragoon. So Chris is training again, and um... Jagan is here and he's going to talk about more stats and he's going to talk about skill this time and our skill is exemplary which is great um, so off to talking uh, this is the next battlefield with a lot of villages so we're gonna be uh, taking a nice long trip so Julian and Lena once lived here, um, they were allies from the previous war, they were very useful I think. Um, in normal playthroughs, I don't actually think I brought either of them really. Um, Julian showed up sometimes, but uh, I was using uh, Sheeta as the healer, <laughs> so that doesn't really count. But anyways, um, they fought together with us and... They're tending an orphanage. Also, Maca Ugh. Mattis is here. And Mattis might be among our enemies, by which I mean he is. And um, apparently we need either Julian or Lena to persuade him, just like the last game. So it's time to quell the rebellion. And we're talking about this and that and the Fire Emblem and Harden and, and everything else that's happened. So, we have to deal with what's at hand first, so we're just gonna just use the, just use who we actually plan to use. Uh, so we're gonna be recruiting Julian for sure, and uh, we have to recruit Mathis because reasons but that's uh, how it is and um Aaron's still here I probably don't really need him but sometimes you need a good strong silver lance to deal with enemies that having 18 speed won't save you from I probably shouldn't be packing so light because there's so many Draco Knights on this map. Uh, these especially. Um, I got a little greedy la I tried playing this once but I got a little greedy and uh, everyone died. So that's not exactly very good uh, because I got a little too forward. I'm like, oh, I'm gonna put myself on this fort. Which is in the range of like four Draco Knights. Three actually, but the others are very in range, so let's not do that this time. Um, we want a steel sword here. Mm, I really wish I had some better swords, but that's just how it is. And, um,. I think we will be fine. 
Um, we're definitely not using Drog anymore, so we're gonna give the Steel Lance to Iron. And the Iron Lance. And I think that really should do it. Um, so let's go. Julian, good news! Katria finally brought the Altian army for us. We're going to join their ranks and help save Princess Minerva. Please take Lena and escape to safety quickly. No can do, Pala! Lena's disappeared. I'm not leaving by myself. But Lena's disappeared and Princess Minerva's is missing. So there's a lot of clerics going missing for some reason and Julian's going to be in the village to find information. Which means we have to drag Marth all the way around all the way around all the way around to the village while we could go across this bridge there's a way to lower it uh, that would put us directly in the path of Mathis and uh, we don't want Mathis to die because we have to recruit him for some reason like okay fine be that way I could fight the Draco Knights here, but it's better to be near the more forts that are on the far side where Paula is. So we're just going to do that. I don't want Paula in the range of the Draco Knights because she will most certainly be destroyed. Also that thief is there. And we really need to get rid of thieves because... Uh, they are quite the hindrance. So that's how that goes. Um, the armory is in league with the rebels. If you're not going to enter, you should be careful not to get jumped. So what I've found, and what I've heard also online, is that these Draco Knights on the hills will not attack you unless you visit the armory which is a kind of good for us because that means we don't have to worry about them but we will want to kill them because this one has a master seal and this one has a silver lance not that not that we're particularly short on silver lances but it's something we need to be aware of and I positioned Marth too high which is very bad for me because, well, that leaves, uh, what's the word? It's very bad for us because, oh, I was about to say that means we cannot visit the village next turn, which wastes time, but here we are. This is the drawbridge. We have a key to lower the bridge. We're not going to use it because I don't want to kill Mathis. I mean, actually, I really don't like Mathis, but uh, we cannot kill Mathis. It is against the rules of this playthrough, and that's just how it is. So I'm switching to Iron Lands to kill the thief because I really don't want to waste the silver on that. Um, but now Michaelis has suddenly appeared. We're going to recruit Michaelis later. Um, but he's going to go have a nice talk with Rook. And apparently Hardin uh, convinced everyone to do bad things for some reason. Uh, but yes, he is not dead and he is going to rescue Minerva himself somehow. So Minerva comes out with her dragon, apparently. Um, so they just leave for some, okay. And now I have to go and go here. There's that masked guy again. I wonder what he's about. Nobody knows. 
Uh, we're switching back to silver because I think reinforcements start next turn. There they are. That's also why we're on a fort because then they won't come bother us. Uh, that's one less enemy to deal with. I mean, also the healing. The passive healing is always nice. Also, we need the Silver Lance for now because Paula is like a few attacks short of killing those Cavaliers and it's annoying. But we're gonna start forging ahead with everyone else. I don't think we need to use the Vulnerary because there really shouldn't be too big of a deal regarding that. Especially with the a little bit of extra defense. Uh, oof, that's a little dangerous. Maybe next turn we'll use the Vulnerary. Really wish Paula also had a Steel Lance because then I could equip that and not waste Silver Charges for now. But we'll just deal with it. So this village has board. Uh, just like Cord, he's just going to uh, not be relevant for the rest of the game. And then so begins our long, long, boring trek up north for no reason because... Well, I mean, not for no reason, but, you know, because... Apparently walking long distances to get to the objective is good game design? Like what? What does it mean? What a strange splotch on the ground that will not be relevant because uh, honestly... Um, we don't have the VIP pass, so even if there was a secret shop there, we would not be able to access it. But anyways, as we move on, uh, what I probably want to do is when I start luring the Draco Knights, I'm probably going to use Luke for that because he has the highest defense. And then everyone else just kind of stands by. This is a very boring section of the game, of the chapter at least. Um, so this one's talking about Est. Not gonna worry about that at all. So let's just get everyone in position eventually because please I cannot this is just getting boring do and turn wow what engaging gameplay I'm gonna recruit Julian and then start luring people over. Uh, we'll start from the right side just so that Julian is closer. But I want Julian recruited before they start running over because uh, then I'll have an extra resource to pick them off with. So here's Julian, and Lena's gone missing, and he's going to join us because of that. She literally started going missing last night. How... What convenient timing. That's just how it is. Yes! Okay, let's go.
so, um... Let's do a little more damage. Well, let's see here. So if I go around here, I will lure the next one over. Which is always nice and dandy. Um, I should probably forge an iron sword for Julian, like I did last time. Uh, because seriously, he's going to have a lot of problems. Especially because I didn't bring a healer. So these guys are basically not even going to do any, barely any damage. Which is good for me for now. Um, we're not doing that. Uh, oh, actually. This is nice, because if I do this... Then Julian should be able to get another kill without dying. Yes! Perfect! I wish I didn't have to baby Julian so much. Uh, oh, hey! He leveled strength. But really his sword rank is... Uh, more of an issue than anything, I think. Uh, he has a mend staff too, which is nice. We're going to give him the Vulnerary though, so that he can heal up really quick, because next turn we're going to be placing Luke on the Fortress spot, and also using a Vulnerary. And actually, let's go to the Convoy and grab one of the ones that has one use left, just so we can get rid of them. I mean, I probably should keep them around, but, you know, whatever. So now Luke's going to get attacked by two units, I think. Oh no, he's in range of three units. But he's not going to take damage from this one, so that's helpful. Ah, Luke, gaining strength. Good job. We actually really need that. Uh, so I have to be a little wary of where this guy's range is. A little. Um, cool thing is we can... Uh... Okay, uh, we're gonna have to improvise a bit. Or something. Uh... Or I don't know if improvising is the right word. But I'm going to avoid this last guy's range for now because I don't want to get Julian killed. Is the main thing, really. I don't want to get anyone killed. Getting people killed is such a pain. I mean, people getting killed is such a pain. Um, okay, so we know that I can deal 20 damage with this, and I'm going to deal 8 with this, so that should be another kill for Chris, because what we're going to do is have Paula take the kill for the other Draco Knight. Just so we have a little bit more variety going around. Also, because I can't kill, afford to get everyone to have Julian have the last kill on everything. Uh, but since her, um, 
since the Iron Lance is like one damage short, we're gonna use the Steel Lance. I think it's one damage short. I may have miscalculated, but it doesn't matter. We gotta level up! And we gained strength and speed, which is perfect. The other guy is not moving, which is even better for us. Because now we can do this, and this, and this, and this, and use the vulnerary. And, um, the others don't really need healing because... Everything else is already arranged. And then bop. So now that that's done, um, I hope I can clear out the rest before the Draco Knights start crashing in. Uh, this is guy's really annoying because uh, he'll completely destroy Paula. But we're just gonna have to find some way to deal with everything. Um, but we need to get ready first, I guess. Specifically just by healing a few people. Um, do that. You don't really need healing, so we're gonna put you there. Then, we sh we're ready now. Okay, Luke. Let's drag the first... What? Whose range is this? It's one of the Draco Knights. Ah. Uh, I really wish that, like... I mean, they implemented it in Awakening, of course. Uh, where, but I, you know, kind of, it would be nice if... What's it called? If when you selected the danger range of, oh. You don't want to attack yet. I don't like that. Let me see what I can do about that. Except I don't really have ranged units, and I really don't want these guys also rushing in. I also don't want uh, Mathis to, you know, kill me. Let's go a little closer. I hope that's enough. Come on! Come on! Fight me! You know what? Yeah! Fight me! Uh, we'll go a little closer just in case. Okay, we're getting attacked by the, that guy. It deals one down. Okay! We're good! We're good now! Perfect! I should have equipped my rapier. Uh, at least he has a javelin. That means I won't counter him. Which is pretty good for us. Honestly. Uh, so here's the stabby stab. Ha ha! Hmm. 
that's a good level up. I will say, if I say so myself. Um, I'm going to do this. And then I'm going to hope that Julian has the range to get to... Okay, perfect. So, um, Mathis is pointing our sword at us again. I pity Lena for having to put up with your stupidity. Um, but Mathis really doesn't like Julian either because, uh, protective older brother or something, but he just comes off as a twat. That's all I can say. Um, Lena and I would never work out. I I'm sorry, excuse me? Um, so I guess... I guess Julian is friend zoning himself? Which... Is kinda... Mathis just sh Mathis just shut up. Um... <laughs> little brother. He calls him little brother even though he disapproves of the marriage or whatever. Anyways, Mathis... Uh, be a good boy and poke this, uh, poke this a bit. This is gonna be how you gain EXP now. Temporarily, anyways. Uh, let's take you out. We're just gonna use an iron sword. Because I just want to conserve uses for no real reason. We got more speed and mm, still no strength. Mmm. What a good day. Oh jeez. We're just going to poke and keep poking because what else am I supposed to do? I'm probably going to use Marth to kill the boss because it's just so easy to do it that way. Um, I need another vulnerary. Thankfully, Marth has infinite pockets. So we can just do that. Um mm, that's a lot of damage even for even for you. Uh that's a problem. Uh Anyways, we're healing up because that's the only thing we really can do right now. Uh you can just go home. You're not really going to be useful for the rest of the game. Oh, that hurts. So since we're not really going to worry about those Draco Knights, we're going to, um... Just poke around again with Mathis. Poke a little more with Julian. If he crits, so be it. Mm, we'll have Mat Mattis take the last kill on this guy, because whatever. But we're still going to get everyone in safety. So there's that. Matt, just please get your EXP. Ah, oh, he didn't even level up. And we're just gonna do this and have a fun time. Whee! Why is the Altian army here? You're all going down with me! Die! He says as he takes 25 damage to the face.
<laughs> As I expected, he says. So we've obtained the Taurus Shard. Or Taurus, whatever. Um, which is going to be useful. Um, because we need to collect all of them. And I hope I didn't miss any. I shouldn't. Uh, I don't think there's any that's shown happened before now. But we really need all of them or else we basically lose the game. And cannot continue, so... There is that. I probably shouldn't have been standing on that castle spot because now I only get two points of healing if I do it that way. I was just a little scared of the Draco Knights, I guess. We're not going to seize yet uh, because reasons, reasons relating to I want to kill Draco Knights and get a Master Seal. In fact, maybe I should early promote someone like... I don't actually know, but I should. Um, give me the steel lance. Oops, wrong person. Whatever. Ah. Okay, once we get Luke healed up, we're gonna be ready. And then we're going to give the Steel Lance to Math Ugh, to Mathis, who's going to be our Lance user, basically. We're going to reclass him to Draco Knight once he promotes. It's just a matter of, shh, do I want to, like, you know, promote Chris early or not but my gut is saying no we're gonna give her the Taurus shard because uh, she kinda needs the strength all right I think we're ready armory Good day, what can I help you with? Nothing! Because I'm very poor apparently. Do I really need the steel axe? I don't think I actually use any axes for a while? Question mark? The point is, we just want them to take the bait first, we'll worry about selling later. Wow, such two damage. And we got a weapon level up, and this is very dangerous for us. I'm... I may have made a mistake. Because I didn't bring any archers. Jeez. So at the very least... I don't want to get attacked by too many of these guys at once, especially with my squishier units. So we're gonna have Marth take care of the Draco Knight here. Because now you'll be uh, in range of two. And we're trying to um, minimize the amount of units that can be attacked by all three. Well, actually, we're gonna make it sure that all of them, none of them can, I guess. Although Marth is actually in range because I can't actually stand on this portion. 
Uh, so it would be better if... Julian is only exposed to one. And then... Chris is only exposed to one, but also equipping the Lady Blade. Actually, that might be a very bad idea. We are switching you to the Steel Sword because I don't want you to... Accidental kill everyone. Basically. And hopefully this will go well! So Julian's gonna take a bit of damage here. Which is fine. Oh right. Oh, never mind. We just killed the other guy. That's fine, I guess. Well, at least we didn't kill multiple times because we're still alive now. That's the point. That's all we need. So Marth is now fast enough to kill this one. I still want to try to kill with uh, Julian, but that's kind of dangerous. Yikes. Okay. Actually, Mathis is really low level, but at the same time, Julian has a phenomenally terrible sword rank, which really needs leveling if I'm gonna actually, you know, use him. Actually, did I use him in the last game? Whatever, he leveled strength, which is something that Chris still isn't very good at doing. Um, I think it's a good idea to feed Chris a kill again using the Lady Blade because why not? Kills, kills, yes, strength, also a Master Seal. Also, we're capping speed already. Which makes me really, really tempted to just promote... ...her, but maybe we'll worry about that next chapter. Because I feel like an early promotion is going to be really important for her to actually be able to deal damage. But then again, we have the Lady Blade. Which is going to be nice for a little extra while until we get an extra sword user, which is actually going to be very soon because uh, according to my list, I need to change Paula into a paladin, which means she, well, a cavalier and then a paladin, which means she's going to start off with E-rank swords. And in order to efficiently raise sword rank, it would be nice to, you know, have the lady blade. But anyways, let's seize so that we can deal with that. The rebels have fled the castle, but Minerva is also nowhere to be found. Um. Oh, that's a really fast general. I knew this task was unworthy. Excellent work. We'll take a Macedon from here. Let's focus on our next mission. My castle was attacked and the prince and princess were kidnapped. The perpetrator seems to have fled to Macedon. Please capture him and return the children or something. You're in no position to defy me though, because I am a jerk and obviously evil. Huh. Prince Marth is not your minion. So... I will no longer follow your orders because you are a jerk. The person who kidnapped the prince and princess was the mercenary Ogma. On your orders, I bet. 
Um, Martha's like, no, I didn't know, but I probably would have done the same. And... Yeah. It's like, perhaps I should report this to the Emperor. And Martha's like, okay, sure, I was going to visit him anyways. Alright. So, um... <laughs> Jaken wants to fight. We won't let him, because, you know. Uh, he cannot fight at all, so... Um, yeah, so... We're just gonna... I think we're gonna f rescue Ogma next, which is very good for us. Um... So yeah, we're gonna pay him a visit, find Ogma. Uh, hopefully nothing bad will happen. Uh, ooh, assassins or something. Um, we have a new lead. Uh, well, there's a suspicious group heading towards Macedon's northern mountains, apparently. So, um... Apparently, I have unlocked 3x, and I didn't even know about it. Uh, I've- actually, I forgot, rather. Um, so I should be more careful next time, in case something happens and causes me to be a, unable to actually complete the game. So, anyways, this has been a Script Master. Leave them likes, comments, and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!